this is a tutorial for Dex Science Set 6.1. Hi, in this video, we are coming to build a model to demonstrate the formation of raindrops. Let's take out the items from the box. As you can see, this packaging is quite different from the other one. So there have been some modifications with the packaging. So if you see this, it has the same content as that of the previous packaging. So we'll take our items from the compartment B6.2.1.2. Let's take out the items from the compartment. We have the aluminum foil, the plastic piece, and the wooden pieces that will make up the stand. So as you can see, the legs of the stands are not the same. So we have two long ones and two short ones. So this is how it will be arranged when assembling them. So let's assemble them. We first take the plastic piece. There's a rubber foam on it, so you try and remove it and peel it off this way. So you peel the first side off and you turn it and peel the other side too off. Take your time when peeling it. So you peel it gently. Now you could see that it's very clear. Make sure you don't leave stains on the plastic sheets. So now let's move on to the assembly. Take one of the wooden pieces, the long one. So look out for the cutout on the plastic sheet and on the wood. Take the wooden piece and look out for the cutouts or the incision mid and check the cutouts on the plastic sheet too. So make sure it matches and insert it this way. Insert it all the way so that you don't have any play. Make sure it fits perfectly. Take the other wooden leg and connect it on the shorter side so that we have it this way. So this is how it's supposed to be. Now take one of the shorter legs and insert it. Do the same for the other one. So this is how it will look like. Take the foil and open it up this way. Don't open it up all the way because we'll cut some off. Now take out your ruler and measure 8 centimeters. After measuring the 8 centimeters, it's already on the line, so you just cut it out this way. Cut it out gently and neatly. Turn it the other way so that you are able to cut it well. So now that we've been able to cut it out, let's put this piece away. Now we are left with this. So take your ruler again and measure 10 centimeters. So from the edge, we measure 10 centimeters like this and mark it.
So we cut out our 10 centimeters. Now we have this. So make sure that when you measure, you get 10 centimeters like this. So now let's fold up our aluminum foil to make a container that can hold water. You can fold it anyway, but make sure it will be able to fold water. So this is how I'll fold mine. I'll first fold it into two equal house like this. Make sure it's neat. And then open up. Then you fold it the other way. After that, open it up. So you have two lines here and here. And then you do it this way. Then you do it the other way. So we have this. So turn it this way and do the same thing. This way. So that this touches the center. And this way. So, so that it touches the center. So now you fold it like this and like this. After folding it this way, lift up the edge of the fold and fold it this way, facing towards the outside. Do the same for this. So now it's something like this and this. So now open it up a bit so that it's standing this way. So what I'll do is to fold this part this way diagonally. You do the same for the other side. Make sure you do it gently so that you don't tear the aluminum foil. Do it this way. Do the same for the inner part too. So this way, so that it forms an arrow shape. So now after that, fold it this way and hold it this way, hold it up this way, this way and, and try bending it this way so you get something like this. has to be very neat. There you have a container that could hold water. The next thing we need to do is to make sure that the top of our chamber is cold. So in order to do that, we'll pour a little bit of sanitizer on it and rub it on the surface. So this is a sanitizer and make sure you rub it evenly 
on the surface. After smearing the sanitizer on the surface of this, let's pour hot water into the container made of aluminum foil. Pour the water gently and make sure the water doesn't spill. Now place this on top of the water holding container. You could see the temperature difference and eventually this water which grows as vapor comes back down as raindrops. The water droplets are formed because of the temperature difference between the plastic and the water vapor rising. As you can see, we performed this activity using the Dust Science Set 6.1. See you in the next video.